Our next guest is a brilliant stand-up comedian and writer who performs regularly all around Los Angeles. Please welcome Mr. Nate Farnold. <laughs> Hello, hi. I'm going to uh, talk about myself for a few minutes, and then I'm going to leave. <laughs> so one thing about me, I, uh, I was a bit of a late bloomer. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't lose my virginity until college. It was paid off, so <laughs> a little bit of time. I was, also, I, was, I was also picked on a lot when I was younger. I got, I got bullied a lot. I was, I was bullied regularly by my local football team, the Miami Dolphins. Was, uh, <laughs> they were relentless. I'm just not a tough guy, you know? I'm not a tough guy. I can't, I can't pull that off. Like, like, I wanted to get a motorcycle, but I can't pull a motorcycle off. I'm not a motorcycle guy. Like, I saw a guy on a motorcycle, and he was wearing a T-shirt, and the back of the shirt said, if you can read this, the bitch fell off. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I... I appreciate the applause, Rick, but I didn't write that. That's someone else's T-shirt, but thanks anyway. Uh, but again, I couldn't pull that shirt off. That's not me. That, that's a motorcycle guy, but that's not me. If, if I got a motorcycle, I'd have to get a shirt specially made that said, like, if you can read this, help, I lost my backpack. And that's, <laughs> that's what my shirt would be, so. Yeah, thank you, thank you. As good as a T-shirt, as good as a T-shirt. I, uh, I'm good now, though things are getting better for me. I, I have a girlfriend now, which is cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is weird, though. She, uh, she said her ex's name in bed the other day. Yeah, it was, it was uncomfortable, but I was a little more embarrassed for her, because I was like, I can't believe you dated a guy named Is It In Yet? <laughs> what kind of name is that, right? Come on. I, I got asked this the other day. I got asked this. I got asked if I had to compare myself to one building, what building I'd compare myself to. You know that old question? <laughs> We're all getting asked it like twice a day. <laughs> well, I got asked it too. And I said, I said the building that I would most compare myself to would be the pyramids. Because much like the pyramids, we're both, we're both mysterious. We're both majestic, and we're both begrudgingly made by sweaty Jewish people. So that's how, <laughs> that's how I'm like the pyramids. Yeah, I am. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I think the reason I don't have any kids is because I'm, I'm terrified of having kids. I'm, I'm really scared of it, especially nowadays, because these kids now, they, kids, they grow up so fast these days. You notice that, how, how fast these kids are growing up? Yeah, so fast. <laughs> like, like, when I was a kid, we had this place called Makeout Creek. And I just found out the kids today are calling it Anal Cove. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. I know. Thank you. Yeah. Before I go, I'd, I'd like to do some impressions for you guys. Um, do you guys like being asked if you like impressions? Great, okay. Okay, this first impression, this is called Neat Freak at a Strip Club, okay? <laughs> this is Neat Freak at a Strip Club, here we go. <sighs> Take it off. <laughs> Take it off. Fold it. <laughs> okay, that was Neat Freak at a Strip Club, thank you, all right. This next one's big. This is a guy who wants to marry a meatball, okay? <laughs> this is a guy who wants to marry a meatball. All right, this is a guy, <laughs> and he wants to marry a meatball. And I need to make sure you're all on board with that in order for this to land, because it's gonna land, it's gonna land hard. This is a huge impression, really gonna change everything. <laughs> it's a guy, and he wants to marry a meatball, okay? Now, normally the guide to meatball relationship is one of eating, but that's not the case this time, okay? This guy wants to marry the meatball. What the meatball wants, I don't know, frankly, none of my business, but this guy who I'm about to do an impression of, I'll tell you what he wants, and that's to marry this meatball, 
just want to make sure we're all on the same page here because I really want this impression to land, okay? So just, just to make sure we all know what's going on, uh, what does this guy want to marry? Meatball. Okay, I feel like about 60% of you were right there with me, but uh, maybe you guys understand the first part better. Who wants to marry this meatball? Yeah. Okay, it feels like more people are on board with the guy part than the meatball part. So just to quickly recap, this is a guy who wants to marry a meatball, all right? This is an impression of a guy who wants to marry, of all things, a meatball, all right? Okay, here we go. Guy who wants to marry a meatball, all right. Oof, that's a spousy meatball. Okay, thank you so much, I have a Nate Turtle. Have a good night. Everybody. <laughs> it's great. It's great.